In this uh, video, let's discuss a scenario that occurs when a ligament has been injured and there is resultant laxity in the ligament and instability of a joint and what the uh, ramifications of that would be. Ligaments can be injured in a variety of ways, an acute injury, a chronic injury, or perhaps a connective tissue disorder where there is laxity in the ligament. When a ligament is not protecting a joint sufficiently or allowing for too much motion, it triggers the surrounding muscle to go into a guarded uh, uh, position or a spasm. The muscle is trying to help the ligament support the joint and protect it. We interpret this as tight muscles and sometimes it can cause muscle spasm leading to pain. The way that this would be best treated would be strengthening of the ligament, which goes back to good nutrition, weight-bearing exercise in the appropriate amount, and adequate rest. One, one scenario would be that there's an underlying ligament issue leading to muscle spasm and guarding of the area, and then the thought that the muscles are tight, therefore I need to stretch the area. And so the idea that we need to stretch that might be counterproductive because you would be stretching an already lax ligament and end up in a scenario where you could stretch and stretch and stretch and never actually get the flexibility that you were after because the ligament's injured and the muscles are spasming in response. So the better solution for this particular scenario would be good weight-bearing exercise, good nutrition, and then the rest needed to allow the ligament to heal uh, interposed between um, the exercise that we're uh, doing. And I think that this comes back to a principle that we've discussed at length, which is mindfulness. Knowing how much exercise to do, knowing how much we want to put pressure on different joints of the body is a, is a measure in, or a, a matter of, of, of being mindful and paying attention to how things are feeling. Sometimes it is the appropriate time to rest. We want to maintain good posture so that we are in a restful state. If we're not in good posture, we may be putting stress on a ligament, even when we feel like we're resting. And then we want to incrementally add weight-bearing exercise as tolerated so that when there's an initial injury, or there's laxity in the ligament, we can gradually strengthen the surrounding structures, we can strengthen the ligament with weight exercises, giving adequate rest to allow for healing, and then gradually and incrementally increase activity uh, to a point where hopefully the muscles are strong, the ligaments have been given an opportunity to heal, function is restored, and an area that seemed like it was inflexible and was really a lax ligament with guarding muscles is now a stronger ligament with stronger muscles and greater flexibility. Uh, so this is a common scenario and again it's in, the, it's in the situations of an acute or chronically injured ligament or a connective tissue disorder and the underlying principle here would be it, rather than overstretching an area strengthening it, giving it good nutrition, and the adequate amount of rest to properly heal.